I unboxed and built this model as part of another video on my channel if you'd like to go and check that out. And um, these two bits are done separately. Got this white because these wings are going to be like a wraith bone white I think I'll do. And this because I'm following my usual um, Sisters of Battle colours and it keeps the, the reds quite vibrant. What I would say I, would, I wish I'd done differently is build these flames separately because painting through the grids of this is going to be a bit of a faff. I had to do the same thing on my Exorcist tank uh, but the flames have come out pretty good so I'm going to follow that. And I've also got a, uh, a video on my channel about how I did the flames so um, we'll get on with the this model first I think. Primarily a black with a lot of interesting highlights and I'm going to do the inside of the cape corn red. So I will come back once that's done. To be honest, not much to this step, just some corn red on the inside of the cloak. Now to cover the majority of the model in black. I'm not going to do the gloves because they're going to be white, so I'm going to leave them with the the grey undertones. And I'm going to paint the flames white so I can follow my other flame tutorial on the channel. So she's done now, got the washes on there, I've done the flames. As you can see, following my tutorial. Um, it's just about creating a bit of variety in them so they're different. Um, the whites look quite clean on that and I'm happy and I'm going to keep the white on the shoulder without normal oil because I think being like a high priestess type person in, in her chariot she's going to look pretty clean. Next bit to work on is this, the chariot I'm going to call it. So I am going to base coat with a wraith bone white all the bits that are going to be white anyway even though it's got a nice primer. Then I'm going to um, Lead Belcher, all the guns, obviously the skeleton's going to say Wraith Boom. Um, these are going to be gold. I'm going to look at the box art and see what it looks like. Um, the steps and the flat, you know, the stuff that needs a different colour, we'll come back to that. These guys should really be painted up as the Order of Martyred Lady, so I'm going to have to do black legs, red cloak, red arms, flames, because there's already a white base on them. I can just go straight in with my yellow, orange, red, and touches of black. So I'm going to come back with base coating done and a few of the bits. An update on painting Junith. So I've essentially finished the majority of the model. I'll go through what's remaining. Done a base. I've just added a, some glue, PVA and some base ready material. That's pretty basic. And the main model itself. I follow box art as you can see in the background. Um, it's very interesting actually because of the majority of white for this marble effect here. It really works to prime the model in a white or a wraith bone. Um, it just helps keep that clean. You can see on the inside there, it's just pure white. So I did cut coat that with the wraith bone before carrying on, so then I can touch up. After doing all my colours, I've I've uh, touched up everything. The um, I've glued her in now, but there's a bit of gold in there, a bit of detailing. It's mainly grey. Then on the stairs, you've got the gold writing because it's nicely raised it's quite easy to just catch them with with a retributor armor looks pretty good um, the flames are following my flame guideline that's on both the shoulder pads and then the um, chariot the figures although you know, though it's a on box art they're just grey I decided to paint them in order of our martyr lady colours so they've got the red cloaks and then the faces and the hair are white because they are statues, they're not real people. Box art has the side bits, skulled, the skulls at the bottom. I didn't want on the box art. It did have the skulls as um, grey, but I think I preferred them as um, actually white like a normal skull. And then I uh, did some washes, so just Null Nile, Rycon Flesh Shade and the uh, Seraphim Zippy on the on there. So what I've got left, I might see if I've got some uh, transfers for the writing, I might try and write that myself. I like to do a little bit of writing on the purity seals, really simply. I'm going to go over the model and make sure I can touch anything, any bits up that aren't, aren't quite perfect. hope you found that useful. It's a, it's a brilliant model and I uh, can't wait to use it in my army.